In this part of the series, we're going to learn how to accommodate multiple options as interactive components in VR using scene states. In our scene, we have the mechanical design of water pump as well as three colored plates. And the idea we're going to work on is to have the pump's color change whenever we select a plate during the VR experience. Let's first apply one of the plate's color to the pump. Select the blue plate and drag its material icon from the material tab to the right onto the pump's cover. Now that the cover turned blue, while it's selected, go to the Scene States menu and select Capture. Scene States store object attributes at the time of capturing. In this example, we're focusing on capturing the pump's material. So disable all the attributes except for the material attribute, then click on Capture Selection. Select the orange plate and drag its material to the pump. Then select the pump and click on Capture Selection again. Follow these steps one more time to capture a scene state for the pump while it's green. If you were to go to the Scene States tab at the bottom panel, you will find three thumbnails, each with a different color, representing the scene states we have created. To test them out, simply drag them onto the 3D area. Select the first scene state, and from the Attributes panel to the right, rename it to Blue. Change the name for the remaining scene states to match the color they have. Now we're ready to attach the scene states to the plates. Select the blue plate, and from the Objects tab to the right, set the action to Scene State. Now click on the scene state name Blue to attach it. Next is the orange plate. Select it, and from the Objects tab to the right, set its action to Scene State as well, then click on the orange scene state to attach it. Following the same steps, attach the green scene state to the green plate using a scene state action. Now that all the plates have scene states attached to them, run the VR experience from the SimLab VR Viewer menu. In desktop mode, hold the left click, then aim at an interactive object, then release to trigger it. If you're in VR mode, hold the trigger on the controller, aim at an object, then release to trigger it. 